Hey everybody, this is Tracy Panace with the JBF sale in Reading, and I do apologize for my voice. I normally lose it at the end of the sale. This time I've lost it at the beginning of the sale. So please bear with me. Um, if you are watching this video, you have signed up for either setup breakdown or one of our floor shifts. And so some of this information is more relevant to one area than the other, but I think they all kind of flow together. And so I'll keep this nice and short, um, just so you know what's going on at the sale. When you arrive at Body Zone, you can park either in the main parking lot or there is additional overflow parking in the side lot. You'll enter through the front doors and check in um, about, we ask about 15 minutes before your scheduled shift. You'll come to the team member table where you check in and check out. If you are scheduled for Monday morning, we won't be quite that organized. I'll just be checking your name off of a printed list and you still will receive the credit that you deserve for helping at the sale. You'll get a name badge and an apron. Beyond that, we just ask that you wear comfortable shoes and comfortable clothing, something that's appropriate to wear in a family-friendly environment um, and just that you are comfortable. There is a team member room where you can leave your coat or your keys, and um, we ask that you leave your valuables safely at home or locked in your car because the team member room is not locked. There is also a small refrigerator in that room, so if you want to keep anything in there while you're working, we also will have water and snacks available to you. The big change at Body Zone that impacts everyone is that we have completely changed up the floor plan. Um, we've moved the clothing out of the ice arena because we were unable to control the temperature. So the clothing will be in one of the two sports courts. So when we're setting up the racks on Monday, um, we will be doing so. Girls clothing will be in the larger sport court. That is the first one that you see when you walk into the facility. The other sports court, which we call sports court number two, will have boys' clothing as well as strollers and car seats, and that is where the checkout will be. So that's a, a totally different um, layout than we've had in the past. We will have everything else in the ice arena, so party gear, uh, electronics, sporting goods, boys' toys, girls' toys, infant toys, all of that, and most of the shelving units will be placed in the ice arena and we'll be giving instructions and telling you exactly where things need to go but just kind of take a few minutes to take a look at this so that you're aware of, of where things are going to be positioned once we get into the, the hall. Just some general duties if you're working the floor shift. Um, your job is really to be friendly and helpful to all of our guests. You want to be aware of what's going on for the safety of children be cognizant of potential shoplifting, and always communicate with your team leader. You're responsible for providing excellent customer service, um, making sure that the floor remains cleanly. We want to pick things up off the floor, making sure that the tables are orderly and things are really shoppable throughout. Each shift has a team leader, and the team leader will assign the following positions. We always need to have a greeter, a stroller person, and um, we'll have several people in the large item area, which is in the basketball court. And then for this sale, there will be two hold areas, so there will always be one or more people in each hold area. And again, your team leader will assign you to those spots. It's important for you to know that if you're working setup because we're going to be setting up these different areas of the sale as well. Same thing with breakdown. We'll be tearing down those spots and then putting things away to the appropriate position. When we set up the floor, there are certain sections. Each section has a PVC category sign. And within this section, there are smaller laminated signs. And the team leaders will be placing those out, and they'll be telling you where to place each sign. For example, um, in, within section one, which is boys' accessories, all of this stuff is going to go there. And some things are sectioned on a table, and other things are sectioned on a shelf. So we will be telling you that. But if we refer to a section, that is what we're talking about. As I mentioned, yellow tags all go in the basketball court, and those are things that are physically too big to be carried through the line. So we'll have smaller toys and loose items in the ice arena. Those can all generally fit within an Ikea bag. 
the yellow tag items cannot. And so when a customer wants to buy something with a yellow tag, they are instructed to write their name and phone number in the top part of the ticket. We'll remove the bottom part and they'll take this claim check to the cashier. It will be rung up and paid for, and then the customer will go back to that area to pick up their item. This is also where they'll be exiting the sale. Customers enter the building through the front exit, entrance rather, and they exit through the side doors. So it's more convenient to their car. And I have in our various sale communication instructed people, it's best to park in the side entrance because that's where you're going to be leaving. And that's where you'll have all of your uh, your arms will be full, so it'll be easier for you to get to your car if you park in the side lot. For breakdown, there's a, a couple of different things for this sale just to be aware of. We need to be off of sports court number one um, by one o'clock on Sunday. So we will be constantly tearing down racks so that we can consolidate into sports court number two. So Everything by the time customers come to pick up will be moved into one of the two sports courts. Loose items will remain in the ice arena and our consigners will be picking up their loose items in the ice arena. They'll be picking up their clothing items in sports court number two and then they will be leaving the building through the side doors. And that's it. Again, I apologize for my voice. Thank you for bearing with me. We sincerely appreciate your help with the sale and we will see you soon.